Gospel of Thomas. Um, again, using earlychristianwritings.com, uh, um, multiple translations to pick from. Um, I have part of it printed out here, um, but I have some pages missing, so I'll go through it. Okay, um, the following is a fresh translation made from the Coptic text published by uh, Messrs. Brill and Brill of Leyden. Preparation of this uh, Versailles following the six translations have been consulted in addition to published by Messer Brill in English by W. R. Uh, Schrodel French by Dorsey and Kramer. Well, let me get to it. <sighs> These are the secret words of the living Jesus spoke and Didymus Judas Thomas wrote down. Red flag should go up right there. Um, and again, this is dated to um, Fifty, eighty fifty to eighty one forty. Um, no, earliest date on this is going to be eighty one forty, and there's multiple reasons for that. I'll go into that in my just like the day decay. I did the first read the first half, read the second half, and then the third part was review. I'll do that in the third part. Um, and he said, um, this is verse one, and he said, he who shall find the interpretation of these words shall not taste death. Jesus said, he who seeks, let him not cease seeking until he find, and when he finds, he shall be troubled, and if he is troubled, he will be amazed, and he will reign over all. And Jesus said, if those who lead you say to you behold the kingdom of heaven then the birds of heaven will be before you if they say unto you it is the sea then the fish will be before you but the kingdom of heaven is within you and with outside of you when you yourselves then shall be known you shall know that you are the sons of living god but if ye do not know yourselves then you are in poverty and you are poverty. Verse four, Jesus said, the man aged in his days will not hesitate. At, ask a little child of seven days about a place of life and he shall live. And there are the, for there are many first who shall be last and they shall become a single one. A verse five, Jesus said, know what is before thy face and what is hidden from thee shall be revealed unto thee, for there is nothing hidden that shall not be made manifest. Again, a lot of these have been lifted from the corrections that we see from Matthew to Luke. So this is not Q source. And it is later than Luke. So uh, his disciples asked him, um, Wilt thou fast? And how shall we pray? Shall we give alms? And what rules um, shall we observe eating? Jesus said, Do not lie, and that which you hate, do not do. For all things are revealed before heaven, for nothing hidden which shall be made manifest, and there is nothing covered that will remain without being uncovered. Again, totally in line with the gospel. Gospels, I should say, and New Testament. Verse 7, Jesus said, Blessed is the lion which the man shall eat, and the lion become man, and cursed is the man who the lion shall eat, and the lion become man. 
Um, this is one of these secret sayings that you need a master to interpret, usually an older celibate man, man who is a virgin because he does not spoil his flesh, you know, the docate. Um, this is the weird stuff that makes it Gnostic, especially the last verse where it is very anti-female. Um, there we go. Um, eight. And he said, man like is like a wise fisherman. He cast a net into the sea and drew up from the sea a small fish. Among the wise fishermen found a large good fish, and he drew down all the small fish into the sea. He closed the large fish without trouble. He that hath ears to hear, let him hear. Jesus said, Behold, the sower went forth and filled the land, and he cast, and some fell on the road, and birds came up and gathered it, and others fell on rock. And again, if you know the New Testament, this is just taken right from it. Jesus said, I have cast fire upon the world before, behold, I guard it until it is ablaze. Totally Eastern Orthodox idea, fine. Jesus said, um, heaven shall pass away, and that which is above it shall pass away, and they are dead, and that, and they that are dead are not alive, and they that are not they and they that live shall not die in the days when you are eating that which is dead you are making it alive when you come to the light you will when you come to light what will you do on that day you were one who became two but now you have become to what will you do the disciples said jesus we know that thou wilt go from us who is he who shall be greater over us jesus said to them the place of which you have come you shall go to james the just for whose sake heaven and earth came into being Jesus said to his disciples, make a comparison to me and tell me who I am like. Simon Peter said, thou art the righteous angel. Matthew said, thou art the wise man of understanding. Thomas said, thou art the master. My mouth will no wise suffer that I say that thou art like. Jesus said, I am not thy master because thou hast drunk, thou hast become drunk from the bubbling spring which I have measured out and he took him aside and spoke to him three words then Thomas came to the companions and asked them what did Jesus say unto thee Thomas said to them if I tell you the word he said to me you will take up stones and throw them at me and the fire will come out of the stones and burn you up Jesus said to them uh, if you fast, you will beget a sin for yourselves. If you pray, you will be condemned. If you give alms, you will do evil to your spirits. And if you go into any land that travels in its regions, it will receive you. Eat what you eat. What is set before you? Heal the sick among you. For which goes into your mouth will not defile you, but that which comes forth from your mouth is what will defile you. Again, the latter half of that makes perfect sense and is lifted wholly from the Gospels. The first half of that is nonsense. Um, 15. Jesus said, When you see him who is not born of a woman, throw yourselves down upon you your face and worship him he is your father <sighs> 16 jesus said perhaps men think i have come to cast peace upon the world 
and know not that I have come to cast vision on earth, fire, sword, and war, for there shall be five in a house, and there shall be three against two, and two against three, father against son, son against daughter, son against father, and they shall all they shall stand as solitary. Jesus said, prepare prepares men think that I have come to cast peace on the world oh, why I went through that. Jesus said, I will give you that which the eye has not seen, the ear has not heard, the hand has not touched, and that which has not entered the heart of men. The disciples said, Jesus, tell us how to how our end shall be. Jesus said, You have discovered the beginning, and you ask ye and you seek after the dead. For where the beginning is, there shall be the, the end be. Blessed is he that stand at the beginning, and he shall know the end, and shall not taste death. I'm going to stop right there, okay? Because I think you can already see a lot of the nonsense. Um... It doesn't get down to 26. I still have 10 verses to go to get to chapter, to get to verse 26, and that's when the real wackiness comes about. Um, let me do you a favor and skip to um, the very end and show you where this is all about. Um... His disciples said to him, On the day of the king and on the day the kingdom will come, Jesus said, It will come forth it cometh not with observation. They will not say lo here or lo there, but the kingdom of the Father is spread out upon the earth, and men do not see it. Simon Peter said, Let Mary go forth from among us for um, women are not worthy of life. Jesus said, Behold, I shall lead her and make her a male, in order that she may become a living spirit or a living soul like you men or males. For every woman who makes herself a male or into a man shall enter the kingdom of heaven. Because, as you know, among the Gnostics, women could not, women didn't have souls, they couldn't enter the kingdom of heaven. But I'll get to that later, so this is just part one. Peace to you.